Durban is Africa's busiest port, so it's fitting the leaders of BRICS are meeting here. The port is getting a multi-billion dollar upgrade to cope with increased trade. The BRICS group will also be trying to address some shortfalls over the next two days. Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa buoyed the world economy during the global financial crisis. But all five countries are now experiencing slower growth. This will be a big test for, for BRICS this summit because um, it'll be the first time that BRICS is attempting to put in place institutions and structures to give it real credibility. And if it is able to make decisions, for example, to establish the BRICS Development Bank or a virtual secretariat is another thing that's been discussed at the moment, then, then people will start to take the formation a bit more seriously. BRICS want to play a bigger part on the world stage in line with their financial clout. A BRICS bank would help finance joint infrastructure projects and solidify cooperation. South Africa's government knows that to optimise its position as the gateway to the continent, it has to make trading with its neighbours easier. So it's negotiating with Zimbabwe, Zambia and the DRC on how to do away with bilateral trade deals that currently complicate the export of minerals and commodities like grain. Despite wanting more say over global financial structures, BRICS couldn't unify behind one candidate to lead either the World Bank or the IMF when the chance arose. But it's still a force to be reckoned with, accounting for 45% of the world's population and predictions of a 45% slice of world GDP by 2030. Indonesia realised it's possibly the biggest development, developmental initiative of our era. And I think now is the opportunity for us to influence it before it becomes set in stone and reproduces what we've had for the last 50 years. The expectations of this summit are high. Russia is pushing hard for BRICS to go beyond the economics and find a common political purpose during this, the group's fifth summit in Durban. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Durban, South Africa.